So I was hired in March of 2011. It was founded by a 25-year-old and his college friends who didn't have any journalism experience, and it was that was kind of part of their selling point. So the idea was that I was going to come in and kind of, I don't know, like imbue it with this external journalistic perspective um, and, um, and take it to the next level. You know, I had this belief that a magazine is the people who make it, that, you know, the brains that, are, that come together to form, you know, your editorial, editorial product, like, I mean, that is all a magazine is. And really, um, you know, it was sort of a year of, of figuring out how to um, sell these ideas about why journalism is great and matters, um, not just to people who we wanted to be readers, but, you know, to my bosses above my head. And eventually they decided that they wanted to be a social network, not a magazine. So, um, so they fired the whole editorial staff in June of last year. Well, I feel like, I feel like there are some sort of um, assumptions that, that journalists um, make or have, have made or starting to sort of let go of about why the internet is good or bad for quality journalism. This idea that you know, the internet is a place where people will click on like stupid dog videos as opposed to like, you know, Pulitzer winning reporting, or this notion that there's there's no way to sort of check facts or to like, you know, to have some credibility, like the internet is just sort of a free-for-all. My experience with Good was a, was a nice test in sort of, first of all, on my end, testing my own assumptions about um, how to prove those things false. So it was, it was, you know, a proving ground for myself, but then also in dealing with my bosses there, um, you know, realizing that some of those things like are true. Some of there, there it is true that like it's hard to justify the cost of certain things. Um, sometimes when you know when it comes to selling like journalism as like a feasible idea, even in the internet era, not like necessarily as a business, but um, sort of saying this is this is worth both reading and investing in. Uh, it's um, it doesn't matter if you convince your bosses, if you convince like sort of the wider world that that it's worth it.